Hello, welcome to this week's tip drop called Hip Love. We're going to give our hips some love in this week's video. What you will need is a wall, <laughs> I will turn you later, a wall and if you have it, a tennis ball or a squishy bigger ball or this, this is called a yoga tune-up ball, you cannot see it, but I like these, I like t using tennis balls, but these are a little bit more comfortable. They are smaller, so they can go deep into your muscles, but they're also a bit squishy. Hello! But you can, all, you can use whatever. If you have a tennis ball, that's also great. Okay, so you need a ball, a wall, and two yoga blocks. Two yoga blocks or something similar that you can stand on. We're, hi, Vanari. So we're going to do a short version of what we did in this week's lower body boost class. We worked on hip drops and opening up our hips as well as stretching. So you also need, so you need a wall, a ball, the blocks, and a yoga mat. Let me, let me whip it out for you. And I swear you will feel so much better after doing this tip drop. It uh, opens up movement for walking, for releasing energy, but also if you are a belly dancer and you want to do hip drops, which we, is what we worked on, this helps a lot. It also helps for turnout. So let's move those hips, try a little shimmy, <laughs> see how it feels. Move your legs, move your knees, and let's get straight down to warming up those hips. Grab your yoga blocks first. I'll be standing on them. Use something for balance if you need to. And you're going to let your other leg hang off. We did this in one of the previous tri tip drops too. So I'm on my block. Let me show you from the side. I'm on my block. So my other leg can hang off it. And I'm holding something for balance, pressing my heel into the floor for a bit of activation. So if I don't do anything, my pelvis will be out. If I press my heel slightly into the block, I have a bit more activation here. Yes, and my chest is a tiny bit out in front, and there I hold my balance. How to do this? I'm looking to the side. So I'll do like this. Switch feet if you've been doing this with me. I have a video, a nine minute turn out routine, which is very helpful for your hip joints. I will link to it. If you sign up for my newsletter, you will get it. If you already have my newsletter, you can still sign up. You will not get my newsletter double. So I'll add a link for this. So be on the block, press your heels into the floor. And now we're going to lift this hip. I'm not doing anything. This leg is straight. Lift this hip, hang out. Drop it and then press it down and you'll feel a stretch right here. And then come back up. Heels in front, leg is straight. Lift this hip, foot is relaxed and then drop this hip. Now lift, drop three times and switch, switch feet. I'm doing sign language in case you're watching this without sound. Hold something for balance. Press that heel onto the floor. This leg is straight as you can make it. Activate here. This hip goes up. Foot is relaxed. Relax. And then down. And relax. Again. Up. Down. Three more times. One. Two. Three. Switch again. Now we're going to make circles with the hip. So this is also in my <laughs> turnout routine, which is super helpful for traveling steps, which is what we will work on in my next rhythm and dance. So I'm circling. Rhythm and dance part two is coming up on Wednesday. And if you see this later, it will also be on YouTube. So I'll link to it also. So you can get my turnout routine. Let's make circles back again and circles front again. You can get my turnout routine and it will help you with rhythm and dance too. Switch feet. It's hard to talk and do this at the same time. But I don't want you to <laughs> miss the information. So I'm circling my hip, I'm twisting, 
Lifting, twisting, down, circling. Three times. And back. Try to keep this leg straight. One, two, three. Last time switch. Now we're going to move the knee in a figure eight. And then a circle. Circling back and figure eight back. So now the hip again, all directions and switch. <laughs> you should feel this after a while, yes? It works out all the muscles around your hip joint. So the knee makes a figure eight. I forgot what else that is. <laughs> Yes, so you just move around. Yes, and you circle the leg. It's easier to do when you're on the block or a little step, so your foot's not in the way. And then you figure it again. Move everything and get back off. <laughs> okay, for a little stretch. So that's the workout. Walk around, walk around. See how that feels. Usually, this gives you a bit of lift when you walk. And this you will have with you for the rest of the day. It's super easy. I think we only did five minutes. And then your hips will be alive for the rest of the day, maybe even tomorrow. So a stretch, a stretch. Using the blocks, what I do is I simply bend and straighten the block leg. And I can walk front and walk back, walk over and cross. It gives me a stretch because of the elevation. We did not do this one yet in the boost class, but it's a good one to add. So I bend and straighten, bend and straighten. If you're interested in uh, my online classes for strength, flexibility and dance, I have a new mailing list where you can get updates for the next version. It might be earlier than next year. So if you want to join the next boost, this one will end in October, Sign up and you will get all the updates for that. So I'll give you the turnout routine, rhythm and dance link, and a link to boost. Okay, now we go grab the ball. Grab the ball. Whichever one, go to the wall. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good time for these tip drops to have more people able to join live. I might do it on a different day than Friday in the future. And I'm not quite sure yet if I can do them every week. It says monthly if you signed up. So let's do a vote after. So what I do is I search for whatever I now feel after doing the block. That spot is where I put the ball and then I squish it against the wall and I twist, I move. This can be lower or it can be on the hip socket. It can even be the front of your leg. Wherever you are sore, that's where you need it. And you can move up and down, it feels so nice. And then if you find new spots, you place this ball wherever, wherever feels nice. <laughs> We've been working on hips all week in class this week. And it worked, it looked super great on everyone, but I feel it, I feel the work also. I haven't been doing hip crops in a while, so. I... Yes, so <laughs> let's do the other side, I can do that forever. Do that as long as it feels beneficial. Yes, I'm just making this video not too long. So the spots that I feel are where the glutes meet the leg, right here, but also here around the hip socket, and sometimes also here, the top gluteus. So wherever you feel it, I will turn around. Excuse me for turning my back. <laughs> wherever you feel it, you twist, and you can arrange how much pressure you want, yes? Up and down, circle, circle, I'm still holding this ball, I don't know why. Okay. Oh, so nice, so nice. Let me know if this feels nice for you in the comments. <laughs> and if you are new to the drops, if you see this on YouTube, you can sign up to get these videos. I'm now using the ball for my sacrum and the muscles around it and the connective tissue around it. So here, top area, this triangle. If you want to get these tip drops in your mailbox, there's now a new option where you can see all the previous ones 
and the little emails that I added to it, it's new, you sign up at www.gum.co slash tipdrops slash inner circle and you get them for free. I, it started out as a paid service, but I figured in lockdown times, everyone can use a bit of uh, nice movement. So you can get my tip drops in your mailbox for free. It's once a month and bonuses sometimes. I am, I've been doing them once a week because I had a lot of inspiration, but I don't want to overpromise. They, they will come once per month and sometimes more often. Okay, so that's enough for the hips. Final one we do is a bit of stretching on the floor. Let me see, yes. Two more minutes, two more minutes. Balls to the side, blocks away. I'll change the camera so you can see me. And this is a variation or a combination of gentle stretches for the hips. If you are very open in the hips, you might have to change it. I have only a little turnout and I'm a bit sore, so I go carefully. What I do is I put my legs, I cross my legs, and then I cross one over a bit more and I scoot myself in until I feel like a nice stretch, a gentle stretch. From here, instead of being like this, I sit myself up straight and I help with my fingers and then I move. And then I move. Let me know what time, <laughs> what time in the week, what day would be good for you to catch my tip drops live. Yes? Because <laughs> I know after lunchtime is not so great. It's when I have ideas, but I could do them anywhere in the week, maybe around lunchtime. Not in the evenings, it has to be during the day, but anywhere in the week. Mondays, Tuesdays and Fridays, I am teaching from 12.30 to 1.15. I'm moving, I switch legs. So let me know, let me know what times are good for you and I might do your time. Again, I switch, but now I go to the inside leg here. And that you may feel here, you may feel it here. You can use your fingers or fists or hands and I lengthen and I explore, however you feel it. So you keep moving, point your toes to switch if you're a dancer. So I, I lift, I rotate, and then I go inside the knee. And this feels so nice. I feel it in different spots on different sides. <laughs> you might too. All of us are a bit more favored on one side, usually. Yes. Okay, okay. So if, you're, if you want to work on your turnout, sign up for my newsletter. You will get exciting news this week. If you want to get my tip drops, sign up for the tip drops and you get them by email with the legs. Let's get up and let's test again. Okay. And if you are into um, walk around, see how you feel. If you're into meditation, check out my blog because I've been riffing about it because it helps in so many ways. I used to meditate daily because I get um, hay fever allergies. And this helps me to keep my nose open, even without medication. And I used to have really bad um, hay fever. So let's move a bit. Try your shimmy again. Try your hips again. Hopefully this helps. If you need more stretches, check out my other tip drops for hips. And if this feels good for you, let me know. Let me know. All right, that's it from me for this week. I wish you a great weekend. Hope to see you in my newsletter list because I have a big update coming. And sign up for the tip tops. See you soon. Bye bye. Yes, the massage feels so nice. It feels so nice. Bye bye. <laughs>